I've been telling everyone for the last week or two to get into these stocks because they are going to explode. And now we are seeing gains of one to 3% daily and sometimes even 10 to 30%. Are these types of gains gonna last forever? Of course not, but you've gotta get in while the getting is good for these types of stocks. I'm not one of those hype guys to jump up and down, but damn, if you're not on these stocks, you are missing out. Today, we are going to cover Bitcoin and why it is single-handedly carrying a few crypto stocks with it, which two crypto stocks to buy and why, three uranium stocks that are blasting off right now, and two breakout stocks I told you to buy before they broke out. Friends, Bitcoin and crypto stocks are volatile, and if it is not for you, that's okay. But my last two stocks today are much safer with low volatility, and they have been absolutely crushing it. Let's kick things off with a success story from our Discord group. The first one is from Air Tractor, who's a really cool pilot that flies sweet jets most of the time and moonlights as a crop duster for his family. In my book, he's a badass pilot and he's always helping out our community with great insight. Air Tractor said, quick 16% on Peabody Energy and check out the chart because it was up 23% yesterday. That's right, 23% in one day. Guys, less than two weeks ago, I covered Peabody in my top five energy stocks that could 6X your money. Not only only was Peabody Energy a bold call, this video was on coal stocks and I had some haters because I covered dirty energy. I mean, oh, the nerve for me to cover dirty energy. To the haters, I have two things to say. One, coal plays a vital role in electricity worldwide and coal-fired plants currently fuel about 38% of global energy. In fact, coal is used primarily in the United States to generate electricity and produces about half of the electricity we use. And if you use electricity in your home or cute little electric vehicles, you're quite the hypocrite to bitch about about it being a dirty energy. And two, thanks in part to the Paris Climate Agreement, coal is being phased out and I'm all for using more clean energy. And our second one is from Split Adams and he said, international game tech from the JR4 list, a 16% profit for an 18 day hold. I'll take that any day. Thanks, Jerry. You're welcome. The JR4 is one of our buying lists and 16% for 18 days is a home run and IGT is up over 30% in the last month. And you can see I Split Adams rode the stock through the buy zone and just yesterday the stock dropped into our warning zone which can be a great time to take profits. These are real trades from real investors that are crushing it and you should join us in Discord to get our live trading alerts, daily hot stocks, and custom indicators. All right, now's the time to grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. We're going to start with Bitcoin today because it is on fire and being pushed higher thanks to the new Bitcoin ETF that starts trading today on the New York Stock Exchange with the BITO ticker symbol. It has taken almost a decade to get crypto on the big name exchanges and this not only helps legitimize Bitcoin, it gives more access to investors and hedge funds. And now that one crypto ETF has made it onto the exchanges, others will follow and I am expecting Bitcoin to have one hell of a fourth quarter. We're going to jump into Bitcoin charts then cover the two stocks I said to buy last week that took off like a rocket ship yesterday. For crypto, I use TradingView with my custom indicators. And if you want to grab them, I've got a link in the description below. All right, we're looking at Bitcoin and we can see it has had a phenomenal run up. And let's see, my current profit is about 34.42% on my last position, which is doing really well. And what we can see from the indicator are the red and the green areas. If it's highlighted in green, I call that a buy zone as long as the price is over the 20 day EMA, which is this blue line. If it's in red, I call this a warning zone and you might consider selling. So if we come over here, we can see we had a green zone price over the 20 and it shot straight up. We had a couple of other real small green zones here. Then our last one, love to get in right whenever they cross over the zero line right here. And you can see it shot up since then. Bitcoin has been going up by itself compared to the other cryptos. And let me just show you a couple really quick. If we look at Ethereum, we can see it's got a chart, but it doesn't have that steep uprise that we have. And that's because the new ETF, I believe, is driving Bitcoin even higher. And if we looked at one more, we can look at Cardano here, ticker ADA, and we can see it has not had the run up either. The one bit of good news we have on Cardano, if you follow me, is it is in a squeeze, but it is currently not in a buy zone. So you want to just wait that one out. And one more thing I want to point out on Bitcoin, it's had a beautiful run up, a very big buy zone. And you can see we just started a warning zone with this red highlight just yesterday. So if you're looking to get into Bitcoin, if it was me personally, I would wait for a little bit of a pullback and for us to go back into the green before jumping in with a position. That being said, for the long term, for the fourth quarter, I do expect Bitcoin to do very well.
Our first cryptocurrency stock is Marathon Digital Holding, and they're a digital asset technology company which engages in mining cryptocurrencies. Their ticker symbol is M-A-R-A. -A. And I said to consider buying these guys the other day. I did. I'm up 5.7%, and you can see they're up 5.24% yesterday, which is a very strong gain. Now, right now, I think these guys are going to be tied to Bitcoin, and we just looked at the Bitcoin chart, and we can see that it might come down a little bit. So my recommendation would be to wait for this one to come down and go back up. I wouldn't be surprised to see us go red and then green on the indicator and then that could be a good time to get back in. We just have to wait to see how much it pulls back. Now if we want to look at the risk management bar, if you have a $25,000 account and you want to risk no more than 5% of your account, that would be $1,250. Then our golden question is, will I risk $191 and buy 24 shares for $1,235? Our target price would be $63.37 with a 15% trail stop and our risk to reward ratio is 1%. 1.5, meaning for every $1 we put out, we want to bring back $1.50. Our profit per share will be $11.92. Our second crypto stock is Coinbase, ticker C-O-I-N, and these guys are a regulated cryptocurrency company that provides customers around the world a platform for buying, selling, transferring, and storing digital assets. So if Bitcoin gets broader acceptance in cryptocurrencies in general, then I think Coinbase is a great play. And if you trade on Coinbase, make sure you use Coinbase Pro if you're from the U.S. because you'll get much lower fees on your Bitcoin and your cryptocurrency trades. Another thing I like about Coinbase is their revenue growth forecast is in insane at 442%. And if we look at the chart here, we can see they were going down for a little bit, traded sideways, and it looks like they're just starting an uptrend right now and they had two very big days. Our recommended trail stop is 10% and our volume is up 170%. So anytime we've got an upward movement on high volume, that confirms the movement. So that's a very bullish sign. And again, our standard indicator down here, we've hit the buy zone here. My favorite time to get in is whenever we cross that zero line and boom, you can see how the stock's performing. Up next, we're going to take a look at three uranium stocks. We've got a special channel just for the uranium bull market, and we've got some really big bulls and knowledgeable experts on that channel. And man, uh, this one's been going nuts. One of my favorites is Energy Fuels, ticker UUUU, and we can see how it's performing. In one week, they're up 28.6%, one month 13.3%, two months 74%. Our recommended trail stop is 19%, which tells us this stock is volatile. Our volume is currently down a little bit and my current profits on my positions are 5.3%. And just a word of warning, this is a volatile stock. The entire uranium sector, it can go up and down. So only trade this if you're willing to ride the roller coaster or get in and out quickly. Okay, for our momentum dream indicator, we can see that we are in the buy zone right now, which is really good. And our magic question, if we want to know our risk, will I risk $237 and buy 151 shares for $1,250? Our target price would be $1,063. Three. The recommended trail stop is 19%, and that just tells us how volatile the stock is. I would actually set a trail stop much tighter on this at 10% for me. Of course, you'll want to do what you want if you like trail stops. And our profit per share will be at least $2.35. Next up, we've got URNM, which is a uranium ETF. Uh, in one week, they're up 23.1%. In one year, 247%. We're not as volatile. The recommended trail stop is 14%. My current profit and loss on positions are 6.5%. And if we look at the charts here, we can see it went up, came back down. And these are our support and resistance lines. So we had really good support at 74.33, and we still do. We had a little bit of resistance at around $80.62. And once it busted through that, it it's been off to the races. And then if we come down on our Momentum Dream Indicator, this is absolutely classic here. We've got the buy zone right here crossing the zero line. It shot straight up. We hit a warning zone that said, hey man, now is not the time to be in this stock. Just simply wait it out. And then boom, we caught another buy zone right here with this green dot, got into it, and you can see the gains. And this is how fast you can make money. And you just want to get in and out if you're swing trading this, or if you're a long-term holder, well, you know, buy and hold it long-term. I'm swing trading most of my positions on this, although I do have a few smaller positions for the long term. And our third uranium stock is Denison Mines, ticker DNN. And I love this stock for swing trading uranium. Why? Because it is very liquid. If we come up here and look at the volume, we've got 6.7 million shares trading, 8 million shares trading. And if we come over here, 9 million shares. And then yesterday, 35 million shares on a really big up day. So this is a high volume penny stock, means it's very liquid. We can get in and out very 
very easily. Recommended trail stop is 19%. If you're buying this for a quick trade, you know, you might consider that trail stop low around 10%, which is what I do. And then we've got our momentum dream indicator here. Same thing, classic, buy it, stay out of it, get back in, wash, rinse, repeat. It's what we do. Up next, we've got two stocks that are not nearly as volatile. This is another one of my favorites, been in and out of it many times, and I like this one for the long term, and it is Fortinet, ticker FTNT. They've got a revenue growth forecast of 24.9%, and if you look at their chart, this is the type of chart that you can actually take a picture of and frame it, because this is what you want to see. In one week, they're up 6.5%, two months, 12%, six months, 61%, one year, 148%. The recommended trail stop is 7%, so it's lower volatility and my current position I'm up 4.3 percent and I just called this one out last week saying it was getting ready to break out and boom here it is on a breakout. How did I know that it was going to break out? Well there's never a 100 percent guarantee but when you follow the indicators down here this is called a squeeze. We often get lower volume which is exactly what we want. Lower volume less volatility we buy and we get in and then whenever it pops that volume goes up and this is exactly what happened yesterday where it was up 3.63 and now we're in it and off to the races. If you're looking to buy this stock, it's definitely one that I love. And our golden question is, will I risk $88 and buy four shares for $1,307? Our target price is $359.58. Recommended trail stop is 7%, and that's where I would set it on this one. Our profit per share, $32.84. And if you're wondering why the risk is only $88, that's because when you buy four shares and set your 7% trail stop, you're only risking $88 if you follow my methodology for investing. And our last stock today is Dillard's, ticker DDS, a big department store in the retail sector. They've got a forecasted revenue growth of 39.5%. They were recently in a squeeze and I was hoping these guys were gonna go on a breakout, bought some of it, and that breakout just happened yesterday where they popped and they went up 8.27%. Uh, my current profit and loss is 2.6% on this, so we're heading in the right direction right now. All of our standard stuff down here is in the buy zones, so this is another great stock to consider. And speaking of retail stocks, let's throw in one bonus one for you, and that is Macy's. And Macy's had a phenomenal day yesterday. They were up 17.51%. If we look at the chart over here, everything is lime green, which we don't see very often, and we love to see that. Uh, volume is up 86%. The recommended trail stop is 11%. And yesterday, they just simply hit a buy zone. But this would actually be in my too much too fast, where I mean, that's a huge gain for one day. So I want to see how this one levels out before I jump in on it. But the good sign is shot straight up on a breakout on higher volume. Our question of the day is, what type of stock investor are you? One, mainly a long-term investor. Two, mainly a short-term investor. Or three, both. I just created a poll on my community page and I want to see what type of investors we have on my channel since it may help me decide what types of videos to create. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want some free stocks from Webull or Moomoo or some free crypto from BlockFi, check out my affiliate links in the description down below. Peace and I'll see you soon on the next video.